episode two. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, grocery day. I look forward to this day twice a week. Safe to say, this is not my favorite day. But your girl's gotta eat. I make a list of foods I need in my fridge on an app called Trello or on my iPhone Notes app to stay organized when I leave the house. I go grocery shopping about twice a week because I don't have a car and I have to carry my bags back home. Luckily, I live only five minutes from the station. Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. So I just checked my fridge clearly and there is nothing in it, so I need to go grocery shopping. Today we're going to be talking about what I do in Japan to go get groceries, so yeah. Let's go. I take a backpack because I don't really care what I'm carrying around. Some people carry like little luggage suitcases around. I've noticed some Japanese people doing that or some people just go like three times a week. I'm like that gaijin girl carrying her bags like down the street to, you know, get home. But yeah, I literally just try to get as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, I take this bag. This is actually a Walmart bag. There's a supermarket near my house called Seiyu, which is partnered with Walmart. And um, a lot of the stuff is pretty cheap. I usually go there to get my stuff, but I think today we're gonna go to Dae, which is another very fancy supermarket that I really love, and they have the best, fresh, freshest food. A little more expensive, but not too much more. It's a little bit more of a walk. Maybe like a more of a 15 minute walk or so. My friend Kel lives only a 20 minute walk from me, so we decided to stock up on food together. But first, lunch. 500 yen gyudon, which is a Japanese beef bowl. The Halloween stuff out. Look at all the Halloween stuff. <laughs> They have Halloween Kit Kats. They're pudding. <laughs> okay, so I made it to the grocery store and I am about to pick out the things that I need for dinner, lunch, and breakfast. This place is probably my favorite grocery store, right Kel? We love this yeah, store. Just, Everything's really fresh. Um, so we're gonna take a look. I need some bananas. I always go for the cheaper bananas. So here we go. We got 98 yen bananas right here. And these ones are 158 yen bananas. I'm gonna grab just like four or three of these. They're smaller. They look like this, I don't know. Ooh, these ones look good. You get all your cold stuff later? I do at last. Oh, really? I just shop around each section so I don't have to keep coming back. <laughs> Sorry, Kel, not the most flattering shot of you, but he mentioned to get cold stuff last. Personally, I'm a fast shopper, so I just go through each section starting at the front. It is probably better to get the cold stuff last, but I guess I'm lazy and I don't care. Comment down below what you guys do. I'd love to hear about it. I literally just made a list on my notes here. Spinach, chickpeas, tomato, canned tomato, paprika, uh, onion, rice, chicken, lettuce, all that stuff. Shopping in Japan is a bit different than in the US. A lot of foods don't have preservatives in them, so things don't last as long. Plus, everything is much, much smaller, and buying in bulk isn't really an option. But most of the time, the food Japanese supermarkets sell are quite fresh, and there's so many things I want to pick up and try. Look at all this delicious fruit. It looks delicious, but it's extremely expensive. We have our pineapple. These are already cubed. This is 3.98 yen for pineapple, about this amount. You can get a huge ass pineapple for 198 yen. Realize that in the States, <laughs> that everything is about the same price, but look at the amount that you get. Like, it's like nothing. <laughs> like, these are blueberries. These are almost $5 USD. 4.98 yen for this tiny thing of freaking blueberries. I love blueberries. Oh, dragon fruit. This is cheap. That is really rare to find. Because I've seen dragon fruit before, but it was definitely not this. That's interesting. I need some apples. These are apples. These are only 98 yen. 
These apples look good, but they're more expensive. Like, this looks really good. Like, super red. Alright, let's check my list. Apples. I got apples. I need cucumber. Oh, I'm going to get some... Hmm, spinach. So here's a spinach. It's 98 yen for like a tiny bag of spinach. basic lettuce right here. <laughs> I don't even know if this is enough. That is 298 yen for this lettuce. Cucumber. The Japanese cucumber. It's so tiny. What the heck? What are cucumbers like by your in your country? <laughs> More thick and big and long. <laughs> Picking out an avocado takes about 10 years of my life. I love them in smoothies or for breakfast though, so I want the best of the best, but sometimes I just don't have any luck. This is all the organic stuff. Organic, 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 everything, but it's way more expensive. No! No! There's no red onion. <laughs> I do need a lemon. How do you know if a lemon's good? Mom? Help me. This seems like a good lemon. It's kind of squishy, kind of not squishy. Clearly I'm like really good at grocery shopping. I know exactly what I'm doing. All these onions. So these are onions and potatoes. Look how small potatoes are in Japan. They're so tiny. Sometimes they have like these pre-packaged things that you can get. Like a curry set to make curry. And like pumpkin. Oh, I love pumpkin. I need an onion, guys. Which one? They don't have a lot of these bags around. I love the pre-packed bento boxes for lunch. I don't eat these all the time, but it's great if you're in a hurry or need something to take to work. Basically, all the bentos are like filled with rice, but this is my favorite one. I feel like if you want to eat like healthy in Japan, it's gonna be more expensive. So, so I don't really mind like paying more to eat healthy because, to be honest, a lot of people are like, oh, just order or just get pasta and just get carbs and eggs. And Japan never used to have Greek yogurt until like a couple years ago. So they have. Oh, what's this one? This is plain Greek yogurt. Ooh, this one looks good. This is new. Look at this one. I like this one up here. Like, I like the blueberry, the blueberry kind, and it's cheap. They also have like stuff like with probiotics in it, which I should get. These probiotics yogurts. I might get these. I might try this. This is like kind of nice. I wonder how, what the difference is between these two. I might try this out. But I feel like I need fruit for this. And I might just get one of these just because, you know. It's yummy. So I'm, th I'm thinking of getting one of these because these are really good meals to have. Ooh, that looks so good. And you just put it in a pan. And then they have like these ones and fish. Ooh, there's more over here. So here's some more salads, like prepackaged stuff. These are raspberries, <laughs> but they're like mixed with other berries. I'm gonna get like these frozen blueberries. Ice cream for days. <laughs> Japan has like the best ice cream, you guys. Ooh, yogurt hairy, zero no healthy ice. So this is healthy, healthy ice cream. Look at the. This is very like oshare right here. Like, look at these. Fancy dark chocolate ice cream. Okay, okay. Am I sold on this? I don't know. Belgium chocolate glacier. Okay, this is calling my name. It's an aisle in a Japanese supermarket. 
tons and tons of frozen stuff and you can put a lot of this stuff in bento boxes. This is like a frozen TV dinner. I'll have to try those for you guys in another video. Okay, so these are like specifically for bento boxes. So you can get all these little tiny miniature things to put in bento boxes. Everything looks so good. It usually takes me about a little under an hour to go grocery shopping, but sometimes I can get pretty distracted. Um, and today they didn't have some of the things that I needed, like garbanzo beans, which were out. Um, so I decided to do some nabe, which is basically meat and vegetables in a pot with some flavored sauce. I love the meat section here because a lot of it is already marinated or cut for you or the fat is cut off. Um, so some supermarkets are actually pretty good and fresh with this kind of thing. So um, definitely the supermarket, I get a lot of really good meats here. So I'm going to get some chicken for my salad that I'm going to make. This is where all the snacks and the um, cookies and things that you can get in Japan down here. And yeah, they have Oreos. Where are they? Oreos here. And oh, Oreos and little biscuits. And cheese or Ritz, not cheese its but they're Ritz crackers. And they even have like the mini bags that you can get in the States. And then they have these like, I don't know if they have these in the States, but these are like crispy chocolate Oreos. Let's go down this way. And you can get like candies over here. And let's see what else you can get. There's so many good things, you guys. And then they have like the traditional Japanese like senbei snacks that you can get. And then like mints and all these cute little things. Ooh, this looks good. Little mints and stuff. There's like so much to choose from. Like every time I come here, like I'm always like so overwhelmed. Shopping is a very therapeutic thing for me. It's tough to get me out the door to actually do it, but when I do, I'm in my happy place. And I feel like it's like that for most things in life. It's tough to get out there and get started, but once you do, you have the time of your life or some relaxing feel-good moments. Did you get anything? I'm so excited with what I just got. What would you find? Oh, that? Oh, I always see those. Rice paper, and because yeah. I'm like. Okay, so they oh they have green beans here, but they have like these packaged like things for like nabe and hot pot. So I think I'm gonna get a couple of these for dinner. Dump that in a pot. I just got this brand. I don't know what that is. Oh, you just wanted a small thing of it. Well, because I'm going to use it for miso. Oh, for miso. Do you want something like... I always look for momen because it's tougher. It's tougher tofu. Like, it's oh, like it? thicker, like easy for cooking. There's so much tofu here, though. It's interesting. I know. They have like They're tofu, healthy this salad. This stuff up here is kind of interesting. It's Pizza? Like Miracle tofu. protein. Oh, tofu oh, cheese. cheese. Is that what it is? Cheese? Oh, what is it? It looks know. like... Oh, it's like a little sandwich. Yeah. They're like little boats. That is so cute. It's 176 calories. It's 4.4 .4 grams of protein. It looks like a nice little snack. I have smoked tofu here. I never knew that. That sounds good. No, it's like, it looks good. I got way too much stuff, guys. I usually don't need too much of this stuff, but like I said, if you want to eat healthy and cook meals for yourself, like this is what you do. I need some breakfast stuff. I love this like random music that's going on. Like if I worked here, I think I'd go insane. <laughs> Have these like prepackaged fish and everything. It looks so good. Okay, so I am about finished. I'm going to get my breakfast food. So I'm going to head over to the eggs right now. 
and we're gonna grab some eggs. Hmm. I think I want, so I think I'm gonna get just a small one. Looks like this, got my egg. Okay, so there's oatmeal here, corn flakes. The granola that I can have is this one. Looks like this. So if you're wondering, there's no nuts in this at all. Just seeds and fruit. This is also by Kellogg's, so if you're wondering. I'm allergic to nuts, so I had to learn what I can and can't eat. I wrote a blog post about this, and I'll link it down below. The problem with Japan is they don't have good, like they have good bread, but it's like not like what you like may so expect. Sorry. If you're trying to follow a gluten-free diet, it might be a little bit difficult, but it is possible. If you go on iHerb.com, you can also purchase some gluten-free things. Bread is a little bit difficult. Everything is wheat or rye. If you are allergic to nuts, be careful with kudumi. Kudumi means walnut. If you're allergic to walnuts, please be careful with this bread. And please make sure you try to learn hiragana or katakana because that makes grocery shopping so much easier. Okay, so I'm about to check out. I just finished shopping. I probably, I don't shop here that often. I usually shop at Seiyu because it's a little cheaper, but today we went here because it's a Sunday. It's a little less crowded. I'm gonna go check out and I'll show you guys what I get, what I got when I get home. Yay! Hey guys, so I am back and I am exhausted. Like, I did not dress up today. I didn't do anything. I just literally went out and went grocery shopping and did some errands and cleaned and everything today. Like, I did nothing. <laughs> That's some days are just like that, and it's really hard to get any editing done or anything like that. I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I got real quick so you guys can get a general idea. Now, all of this I spent about 6,000 yen on, and this is for pretty much a week. It's like a little over six thousand maybe eight thousand yen a week that I spend on groceries and the reason for this is because I like to cook and I like to treat my body right and I haven't gained or lost any weight for like two years I am gonna show you in just a second like what I bought and yeah how I eat and all that stuff so let's get right into the bed chicken now the cut chicken is a little more expensive but it's so much faster quicker and easier to cook this is the cheapest thing that you can get it's like 69 yen per block of tofu and I got two of these because I'm making some nabe and that's hot pot in Japan and I got the pre-packaged cut vegetables anything cut is gonna be more expensive but it's faster and more convenient this is the sauce that I got it's kimchi spicy flavor it's not really that spicy to me um, it just gives it a little kick but I put this in with some a little bit of water and um, add the vegetables and the tofu and it tastes amazing of course I got my yogurt my normal regular Greek Greek yogurt but I also got, as you have seen in the video, my probiotics yogurt. So I'm gonna try this. I've never had this one before. So this is pork sausage, and it's a little bit healthier than I think regular sausage. I don't know. But I usually just eat like a couple tiny ones of these for breakfast with some eggs and toast. Okay, so I also got this like onion, and this stuff you can put on top of salad. So I got that. Okay, so I got a couple things of cherry tomatoes. Frozen blueberries need to go in the freezer right away. Daikon radish. This is like one of my favorite vegetables in Japan. I love radish. It's so good. And then I got some olives to put on top of my salad as well. I already had like um, one thing of instant rice. 
but I got another package. I got some fresh greens to cut up for my salad. I got this, this is coffee. Um, this is the cheapest coffee they have. Honestly, like I don't care. Like I feel like a lot of the coffee that I buy tastes the same. <laughs> Next we have some boring stuff. We have some avocado, we have some spinach, and a cucumber. The tiny, 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 tiny cucumber in Japan. We have my dinner for tonight because I do not feel like cooking. This is just assortment of vegetables, fish, and some purple rice, which I really like. Two things that I got are five seasoning or five vegetable dressing. But yeah, this is one of my favorite dressings to get to put on top of some chicken salad. And one more thing, I got some bread. Everything literally has wheat in it. So Cal was looking for something that's good for his eczema because he has has been suffering for that, suffering from that. And usually wheat is not good. A lot of wheat generally isn't good for you, but I mean, I like this bread. <laughs> so they usually have like ingredients on the back if I can show you. So this tells you what's inside of it and the ones that are highlighted is what's inside. There's no peanuts in it. There's um, orangi, which is orange, wheat, and milk. So yeah, you have to be careful. The kanji for, and you have to check the ingredients. Not all packaging has stuff like this on it, but the kase is this kanji, this top one in the corner here and kurumi is walnut so you have to be careful with the stuff that's inside here and the ingredients are here so you can look for that kanji specifically all right so that is everything that i have to show you today i this is how i grocery shop um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any more requests and want to see like what it's like to live abroad or you have any other things you want to see behind the scenes of just let me know and comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you guys for watching. I'm so glad that you liked this series. If you have any requests or things you want to see, please let me know in the comments below. And also, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts, especially Instagram, and like, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.